So you got yourself a shiny new employee central system. And now your consultants are gone. Uh, next thing you know, you run into an issue. Uh, it's something you've not seen before. In today's episode, we walk through the steps that you can use to go search for the answers to whatever the issue is that you have. So we've all been here before. Uh, we're minding our own business, working through processing something or uh, we're configuring something and we get an error message that we're not expecting. Um, and the question then is what to do about that. Um, so the objective of this video is to kind of walk you through the, the steps that I go through when I'm trying to find the answer to something that I haven't found before. So um, here is an example, an absurd exam example to be sure, uh, of an error message that uh, you might get uh, in Employee Central, hopefully not. Um, but uh, still, um, you know, I want to uh, kind of identify a couple of pieces here. First of all, um, uh, whenever we get error messages, that's, that's uh, the one good thing about it is it's a unique unique uh, um, set of characters that might be able to be used uh, to make your search go a little bit quicker. Uh, particularly when we look at something, uh, you know, maybe where there's an identifier at the end or just something that looks really unique and unusual. So in our case, this EX382 would be probably the first thing that I'm going to be uh, kind of fixated on as far as like trying to come up with a way to use that to uh, do some searches. So um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through a few different places I might go to um, look for an answer. Uh, and the first one um, that I'm about to show you is probably a little bit surprising. So, so let's go. Okay, so the you might think that the first place I would go to look for answers would be someplace uh, exotic. But in, in actuality, the first place I go is is Google. Um, so just like I can use Google to look up recipes, look up uh, uh, celebrity news, look up uh, NBA stats, uh, I can also go here and look up uh, information for uh, errors that I'm uh, that I'm getting in the system or uh, for success factors. So um, I can look up and have uh, KBAs returned. I can have blogs returned. You name it. So in this case, I'm going to put in that error code that we looked at, EX382, and see if that gives us some results that we can use. Uh, Unfortunately, the only EX382 that Success Factors comes up with is a Sony Walkman. So um, we're going to try also now uh, 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 putting in the error message itself. And unfortunately, uh, in this case, it wasn't successful. But uh, uh, by and large, in a lot of cases, you will find uh, some pretty good results just by going to Google. So let's uh, now move on to a, uh, a KBA search. The next place to go is to the launch pad. I'm going to put the address for the launch pad into the comments, um, but and you're also going to need to have your administrator set you up with access to this. But then once you can do that, uh, you're able to go in and do KBA searches. So um, that's really the, the next step in the process is you can go in and do KBA searches for what it is that you were looking for. So uh, the, some of the same rules apply as applied when we were looking at um, uh, Google. So we're gonna try first um, the ID um, for the error to see if that uh, uh, yields any results. And if that doesn't re uh, yield any results, then we'll expand our search out a little bit. Uh, but basically all you have to do here is go into the, uh, do the search, do the search under knowledge base, and then anything, uh, any KBAs um, that, and, and KBAs are knowledge base articles and they can be error checks, uh, they can be how to's. Um, they're basically just notes from success factors. They're discrete notes. And so you can use this uh, tool to look for anything that has to do with uh, your issue. So uh, we did come back with a result here, uh, but uh, it has to do with Success Factors API, which clearly isn't something that that really uh, pertains to us. So the next thing we're going to go to is SAP Help Search. So help. Uh, help search, I will also put in the comments um, exactly how to get to the help search. Um, but basically, you can see there at the top the, uh, um, the the URL that we're going to use. And then basically, this gets us to all of our implementation guides. Uh, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to search through and I'm going to use my error search um, and, and, and search for um, a, a, a result similarly to that I did already in Google and uh, on the uh, uh, support launch pad. 
notepad. But beyond that, I'm going to go down and from here you can see that we can navigate uh, to the different implementation guides and to the uh, official, quote unquote, official documentation from the product team. So I'm going to just navigate here, kind of show you what this looks like. I, I'm going, I'm, I'm going to drill into Success Factors Employee Central, and then from here I'm going to the Implementation tab. And from the Implementation tab, I can get to a whole bunch of different guides. Um, they have to do with there's the core one, there's one for payment information, there's there's ones for workflow, continuous workforce management, you name it. So that is the implementation guide. So you can click in and read the official documentation from Success Factors. Um, and then in addition, there are other tabs. So integration guides, uh, you can see here. That's a that's a useful thing. Um, uh, use and operate as well are going to have some additional guides. So really, when you get to to the point where you're looking at this, this is more just general information. You're not going to be as likely to find answers to specific error messages. But um, if you want to understand um, in a deeper level how some of the some of the functionality works, this is really the place to go. Um, and so I would highly recommend uh, you getting acquainted with these guides and using this as as a uh, one of your tools. Next up is uh, the Success Factors community. Um, so you will get access to this when you when your administrator sets you up with access to uh, the um, uh, launch pad. You're also going to get access to the Success Factors community, and the the community has got um, a lot of cool things in it uh, that we're going to show now. Um, we can in, in our case, what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down and we're going to go to the Employee Central section here, and you can see here there's a there's a question and answer section. There are feature highlights, events, uh, release information, innovation alerts, and hot topics. I definitely recommend you coming in and getting familiar with all of the content here. Um, so there's a lot of things that go beyond just the message boards. Um, but for now, what we're trying to do um, is, you know, we're trying to solve an, a particular issue. So we're going to the Employee Central Forum. And so this works like just any other forum. So I can search um, within a topic. Uh, I've already tried to search for demon possession um, in this uh, in, in this area, and I haven't had any luck. So now I'm going to just post a question. And so when I post a question, hopefully someone else in the uh, 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 in the group um, might have a, a, a identified a similar issue in the past and maybe they're going to be the ones that are, that are going to provide me the answer. Um, and so uh, that's what I can do here. I can just put in a subject and then, uh, you know, put in enough information and, you know, then this just is used the same way any other message board is. Uh, I will say that, uh, you know, if you're posting things out here, you know, as you get more knowledgeable, it's really good to pay it forward and to make sure that you're uh, monitoring for anything that you can resolve as well. Next up, we're going to look at the resources. So uh, from the resources tab, there are a couple of key things I want to highlight. The one, uh, one here is architecture leading practices. Uh, architecture leading practices are things that are produced uh, by and large by the implementation team. And you can see here there's a lot of kind of big picture things having to do with your system architecture and how you want to set that up. And so that is one good place to go. The other one that is often really, really useful information is going to be the implementation design principles. So these implementation design principles, these are uh, really uh, in-depth manuals. Um, that a lot of times partners uh, organizations are, are the ones that are writing these and they're spending a lot of time um, there for example there is a you know the the position management IDP uh, is probably the authoritative word on um, on how you sh how you go about uh, maintaining position management so Okay, so unfortunately, uh, we weren't able to find an answer as to why my Employee Central system is now demon-possessed. Um, but hopefully, uh, we were able to use this as an opportunity for you to see uh, and go on a little bit of a tour of some of the key resources that you can use in order to find answers. Uh, both error checks as well as just some good general documentation that, that I recommend you uh, go out there and, and check out uh, you know, when you have time. The next step, of course, if you can't can't find an answer is putting in a ticket with success factors and uh, I've got another video that's planned where we're going to talk through the steps involved and some uh, recommendations I have for putting in tickets so uh, stay tuned for that uh, thanks a lot